The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. If the world hates you, remember that the world hated me before you. This would not be so if you belong to the world, because the world loves its own. But you are not of the world. Since I've chosen you from the world, and because of this, the world hates you. Remember what I told you. The servant is that greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours as well. All this they will do to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. So, maganda kung mara po sa inyong lahat. Nandito na naman kayo, pinunod niyo ang simbahan. Pero huwag niyong kakalimutan, do not forget, if you come to Mass on Saturday, it is for devotion to the Blessed Virgin. But you have to come to hear Mass again tomorrow, Sunday. By all means, Jan huwag kayo magkakamali. Mga debusyon nyo, hindi dapat nangingibabaw sa obligasyon natin pang linggo. St. Thomas Aquinas says, It is a very big sin to be lazy. And he showed this by example, that he would keep on moving, and even though he had difficulty with his bodily size, he continued working and he tried moving around. The weakness that we experience, the weaknesses that we have seen in our life, that you should concentrate. And we should never be discouraged by the presence of these weaknesses. There is a purpose for everything. There is a sign what we have to do. They are all signposts for us on how to go about in our life. The Gospel of John talks about hatred. Have you noticed? It is so easy to hate, not to like people. Why is this so? Because the devil is always around. And if we are not prayerful, if we do not control our passions, if we do not control our body, we will succumb. 
we will surely fall. We should never trust ourselves. We are basically and fundamentally weak. And so we have to always seek God's help and mercy. If the world hates you, remember that the world hated me before you. Dito no, dito nyo makikita. Napakadali na umayaw sa ating katabi. Napakadali. So easy. And I said, it is so easy because of the person beside us, the devil. As we grow older, we have to watch out that we do not become devils to our neighbor. Malagaya. Avoid being devils to your neighbor. Otherwise, always remember that everything that we do, everything that we say, everything that we think is recorded in our book of life. Nakasulat lahat yan sa ating libro ng ating buhay. Kaya huwag, do not let us not trust ourselves that these things will pass. Do not allow yourself not to be in the state of grace at all. It is a big misfortune. It's very tragic. Nakakaawa. To keep oneself, to get used to being, not being in the state of grace dito sa mundo. Get used to that idea. That when you are not in a state of grace because you have committed sin, you are far from the Lord. You are far from Him. You have refused His invitation. Kawawa naman. Let us ask Him to help us. It is by grace that we continue in this state of life. Gracia lang. Not because we are talented. It is His grace that helps us, that makes us keep ourselves at His side. Sana naman sa pamamagitan ng ating dasal sa mahal na biren, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, the Blessed Mother will help us. The Mother of God, the helper of souls. Kaya huwag kayong tatamad-tamad sa pagro-rosaryo. Do not be lazy in praying the rosary. It will help you a lot. Ang nanonood kayo ng sine, kikipagkwentuhan kayo na ketagal-tagal na walang katapusan, paulit-ulit ang pinagkikwentuhan. But when it comes to prayer, especially the rosary, mabigat ang ating puso. 
Pasalamat tayo sa mahal na Birhen. Let us ask her today during the Mass. Natulungan tayo, especially when we reach the consecration part of the Mass, where we invite the Lord to come down from heaven and be with us. That means we have to be very careful in receiving Holy Communion. Be very careful. Give it due respect. See to it that you are conscious of what you are doing when you receive Holy Communion. And behind the Holy Eucharist is the Sacrament of Reconciliation. Pangungumpisan. Kita mo, magkatabi ka agad. Behind the Eucharist is the Sacrament of Reconciliation. Never be ashamed of going to confession as often as you need to. It is the devil that will make fun of you. Anja na naman. Pareho na naman. And you get discouraged. But which you should not. The Holy Eucharist. Focus your attention and say the act of contrition silently before you will receive Holy Communion. And promise the Lord that you will go to confession as soon as possible to cleanse your soul.